local news that matters. This is CBS 17 News. Anytime that there's a loss of life, you hate that. Two children are recovering after being left behind in the same car their 24-year-old mother and a man were found murdered in. Good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Angela Taylor. And I'm Rod Carter. Someone found Destiny Wiggins and Devon Brown shot to death this morning inside of a car in the parking lot of Barnhill Construction. CBS 17's Nick Sturdivant is live for us tonight in Rocky Mount with this story. Nick. Yeah, earlier I reached out poli to police. We still don't know what led up to these murders. It's still a mystery at this point. We talked to Destiny Wiggins' family earlier who says they are heartbroken. The investigation continues into the thefts of both 24-year-old Destiny Wiggins and Devon Brown, who was 28. Rocky Mount Police say Barnhill construction employees found both shot to death just after 6 a.m. Thursday in the parking lot, also in the car two small children in the back seat. Police say they were okay, but were exposed to cold temperatures for an extended time after temperatures dropped overnight in the 30s. I can only imagine what the children must have been uh, going through uh, in the car, you know, uh, and during these cold temperatures, depending on how long they were in the car. Police confirmed Wiggins is their mom. She was also a mother to four children. The others were not in the car. Wiggins' sister told us Destiny is one of eight siblings and had two girls and two boys. She says Wiggins' two girls were in the car with her during the crime. Her sister described her as someone who loved to do hair and loved her family. Nehemiah Smith Jr., the pastor of Mount Zion First Baptist Church in Rocky Mount, came out to the scene as soon as he heard about the awful crime. It was disheartening, you know, to hear that in your community. You know, you hate when any time that there's a loss of life. And both kids were taken to the hospital again. They are okay. And as far as we know, Rocky Mount Police have not identified a suspect or suspects and have not made any arrest. Live in Rocky Mount tonight, Nick Serdivan, CBS 17 News. Yeah, certainly heartbreaking for that family, yeah. those poor kids that were in the car. All right, Nick, thank you.